So today is the day I'm about to meet Gary V in person. So the plan is get into his Q&A which is probably the most valuable thing out of this entire conference. Ask him a few questions that I have for him about uh, for my personal career as well as also my family's business. Also hopefully out of that I'm gonna ask him if I can score a very quick one-to-one -one interview with him and hopefully be the first Malaysian to have ever interviewed Gary Vaynerchuk in person. That didn't go as planned. My name is Sarah. we're in uh, Hardware and Machinery. My name is uh, Ek Jing Heng. One value that you hold true to this day? I would say, Sean, be reliable. I think not many people do what they say they will. And if you do, that marks you out from the rest and it gives you future business. Definitely important. Well, Hello. Alright, okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pleasure. <laughs> that was very good advice. So that's why I, at least one thing that I believe I've been lacking a little bit throughout like at least the past few years. I've I've come to know myself a little bit better. I mean everyone slacks a little bit once in a while, but that's how it is. Cool. Let's go next. What's one value that you hold true to this day like, as you as a person? I suppose it's, it's inspiration. Right? I mean, that's, the, that's the most important thing. That's what makes you go on. This is what I hope everybody should do more. Like just have an idea, put it out there. You right. know, like be motivated to make things in the real world. Right. That's your right. legacy. Right, yeah. So true, man. All right. Raw in the flesh. How are things going? How are you? Well, I'll get a picture with you later. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you so much. Before you can tell me how great your product is or how charismatic you are or why you're so right about what you have to say to the world, whether as a person or as a business, you have to get the person's attention to tell your story. To me, this is the most fascinating thing that's happening right now in our society is that attention has never been more uh, changing, has never been harder to grasp I think for a lot of us that have been in business for a long time, it's very difficult to grab the current changing landscape of attention at the speed at which it changes. So I took your advice and I started blog blogging not too long ago and I, I'm already seeing work. Doors that I could never imagine are starting to open for me and I only have you to thank you for that. I have a two-part question. Yes. Um, first, my father owns a traditional billboard business with about 1,000 sites, mostly along the highway. I'm persuading him to invest into digitally. I don't, I don't work for his business yet, but I assume I will in the future. Given your expertise, if we became partners today in this business, how would you focus your resources and what would, you, what would your first steps be? What kind of business is it? Uh, a traditional billboard business. With a thousand what? Billboard. Billboard? Yeah. <laughs> um, so your dad owns billboards? Yes. 1,000 sites along the highway. Which is rad. Is it already digital? No. It's so purely... I would probably make the capital invest. If I took over my dad's business or became his partner, I'd probably take the capital risk up front to take them digital because I think that's going to be required to get the value out of that outdoor. Right. Um, I would also look to diversify because I'd be too fearful. You're a young dude. I'm too fearful about self-driving cars and all the things that happen over the next 20, 30 years that would disproportionately decrease the value of the asset that you have. Right. So my intuition is that I would diversify. I would either sell off half the boards and then put it into building a media company or I would reinvest all the profits each year into building some sort of digital complement to a traditional product like that. Okay, got it. Um, the second part of the question is, as an extend extension to my vlogging, I plan to start a series of interview videos or podcast sessions with people within the same field to talk to to talk about the work they do. And I was wondering, this is a trying my luck here. Would you be my first guest to officiate this? So I would. But <laughs> but if you do 15 episodes, I'll be your 60. And here is where I said something stupid. Okay, oh. I already have 22. Oh, what's that? I started my blog like 22 episodes, but I'll start 15 um, interviews after, after that and you'll be my season. You've season. done 22 blog episodes. Blogs. But yes. if I was listening carefully, you asked me to be a guest on a new podcast. Ah, right. Okay, got it. So that'll wait until I'm the 16th. Got it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, my 16th episode of the podcast. Yes? 
this brings me to my issue. I threw Gary a hope, hoping that he will bite an interview with me. That didn't fall through. He ended up throwing me a curveball saying if I interview 15 other people for my podcast that I'm trying to start, that he will be on my 16th. Now, I know a few people here and there, but trying to get to 15 will be a challenge and it will be great if there is anyone out there who can help me with this. So I'm looking for people of influence in their respective industry, coming from marketing, advertising, obviously I have a heart for that, but honestly, almost any other industry. So if you guys know of anyone, please feel free to suggest to me, send me a message, and if you guys can hook me up with that contact, that will be great help. I'm trying to reach 15 people, and wish me luck, and I'm really hoping for your help. Thank you so much.